Hello friends, welcome back to Huawei AS. Welcome to the discussion on daily MCQ. Today is 11th of April 2022 and now we are going to discuss 5 MCQs based on the current affairs. So chale shuru karte hain. But before we begin a small information, the PDF of the discussion will be available in our Telegram channel. The Telegram channel details are there in the description. You can go and download it from there. Now let's look at the first question. Consider the following statements regarding the standing deposit facility SDF. First one, it is an additional RBI tool for absorbing liquidity without any collateral. Second one, SDF will replace the fixed rate reverse repo as the floor of the liquidity adjustment facility corridor. So we have to choose the correct option. This is directly from the economy. A1 only, B2 only, C both 1 and 2 and D neither 1 nor 2. The correct option is C both 1 and 2. Both the statements are correct. Okay. So recently the Reserve Bank of India introduced this standing deposit facility which is an additional tool for absorbing liquidity at an interest rate of 3.75%. So that's why this was in use. In 2018, the amendment of to the Section 17 of the RBI Act empowered the RBI to introduce the SDF Standing Deposit Facility, which is an additional tool for absorbing the liquidity without any collateral. It is an additional tool for absorbing uh, excess liquidity because excess liquidity will increase the inflation in the economy. It will it will stabilize the financial sector at large, and it will also play a great role in the liquidity management. The SDF rate will be 25 basis points below the policy rate that is repo rate and will be applicable to the overnight deposits at this rate. The SDF will replace the fixed rate reverse sorry, it will replace the fixed rate reverse repo as the floor of the liquidity adjustment facility corridor and both standing facilities uh, the MSF and SDF will be available on all the days of the week throughout the year. So this is about SDF and now let's look at the next question the second question. If RBI decides to adopt an expansionary monetary, monetary policy, which of the following would it, uh, would it not do? Okay, right. So here we have to choose the, the policy which the RBI will not take for expansionary monetary policy. Expansionary monetary policy means RBI increasing money supply in the economy. First one, cut and optimize the statutory liquidity ratio. Second one, increase the marginal standing facility rate. Third one, cut the bank rate and repo rate. So we have to choose the correct option A1 and 2, B2, C1 and 3 and D, 1, 2 and 3. So here if you see the correct option is B2 only because increasing the marginal standing facility rate would decrease the money supply. So when money supply is decreased then what is going to happen then the expansionary monetary policy is not going to take place. So the second statement is wrong whereas cutting down the SLR so will increase SLR will uh, cut into the SLR will increase the money supply with the bank. And next one, cutting the bank rate and repo rate will increase or will increase will ensure that more and more lending take place because of the low interest rate. So that will increase the money supply in the economy. So that will further lead to the expansion of monetary policy. So B2 only is the correct answer. So it's a 2020 economic question. Right? So the same explanation is given here. You can just go through it once. Now let's look at the next question, the third question. Consider the following statements regarding the Council on Energy, Environment and Water. First one, it is newly formed UN body devoted to research on all matters affecting the use, reuse and misuse of resources. Second one, the study named Managing Forest Fires is Changing Climate has been released by the CEEW. Which of the following are correct statements? A1 only, B2 only, C both 1 and 2 and D neither 1 nor 2. So if you see the Council on Energy, Environment and Water. It is basically a newly formed UN body devoted to research on all matters. This is the this is a wrong statement, but the second statement is right because uh, the study named "Managing Forest Fires in Changing Climate" ch in changing climate uh, has been released by it recently. That's why this was in news. So B2 only is the correct answer. So recently, as I said already, the Council for Energy, Environment and Water has released the report named "Managing Forest Fires and Changing Climate," and the major points of the study, if you see. There are increase in the forest fires and also the occurrence of forest fires has been reported in states like Uttarakhand, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Right. Uh, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Maharashtra are the most prone to high intensity forest fire events caused by rapid changes in climate. All of these things are reported and making forest fire under NDMA purview. It also said that the report recommended for the forest fire to be treated as natural disasters and it should be brought under the National Disaster Management Authority. Unlike cyclone, floods, earthquakes, which are big disasters, forest fires are not categorized as a natural disaster. Now let's look at the fourth question. Recently, the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs accorded its approval for the supply of fortified rice across the government states. Which would be the possible advantage of this move? First one, extra nutritional at affordable cost. 
Second one, reduced malnutrition and nutritional deficiencies. You have to choose the correct option, A1 only, B2 only, C both 1 and 2 and D neither 1 nor 2. And here the correct option is C both 1 and 2. Because, because the fortified rice is nothing but providing extra nutrition through the rice. This will increase the extra nutrition at very affordable cost. It's a cost advantage as well. And also this will reduce the malnutrition and nutritional deficiencies which is a major problem in the rural India. So both 1 and 2 is the correct answer. Recently the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs accorded the approval for the supply of fortified rice across the uh, across different government schemes. It will be happening in various phases, three phases to be approx to be precise. The first phase covers the Integrated Child Development Scheme and PM portion in all of India by March 2022 which is under implementation. The phase 2 uh, will include the phase 1 plus the TPDS and OWS in all the aspirational and high burden districts on stunting by March 2023 and in the phase 3 it the aim is to cover all the districts of the country. So this will provide extra nutrition to every person of the country which will help in overcoming the malnutrition and also lack of essential nutrients in women, children, lactate in mothers etc. The FSSAI, the Food Safety Standard Authority of India defines fortification as deliberate increase in the content of essential micronutrients so as to improve the nutrition quality of the food. And the fortified kennels are then mixed with the normal rice generally in the ratio of 1 is to 100 and distributed for consumption and it will contain vitamin A, B1, B12, folic acid, iron and zinc. Right? So this is about the fortification. Now let's look at the last question of the day. The fifth question. Consider the following statements. Antibodies are specialized Y-shaped proteins made by immune system to fight against virus only. Second one, antibodies are produced and released from B cells. You have to choose the incorrect one, A1 only, B2 only. C both 1 and 2 and D neither 1 nor 2. So if you see, we have to choose the incorrect one. The second statement says antibodies are produced and released from B cell. This is the right statement. But first statement if you see, antibodies are specialized y shaped proteins. This is right. Made by immune system to fight against virus only. This is wrong because it can fight against bacteria and other pathogens also. Right. So the first statement is the wrong statement. So the correct answer will be A1 only because here the incorrect one is asked. So recently the scientists at Pune India Council of Medical Research National Institute of Virology were able to detect the presence of Ig antibodies against the Nipah virus in 51 bats that were captured from Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry and that's why this was in news. And these Y-shaped bacteria, Y-shaped proteins uh, which are made by the immune system will help in detecting virus, bacteria and other pathogens as well. Right, so this is all the information and uh, before I leave a small information for you we are providing vision prelims test series summary vision monthly magazine summary and vision mains test series summary you can subscribe to all of them at a very discounted price of 25% uh, to all students and 15% to the new students you can check the quality of these magazines in our telegram channel everything is available over there if you have any queries you can get back to us via comments or via telegram that's it guys from our side i'll see you again tomorrow with five more mcqs till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind thank you